What's up everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Now, a launcher is an app used to modify or completely overhaul your Android home screen. This is where your wallpaper and widgets live and where you can store shortcuts to apps. If you're tired of your normal home screen, the Google Play Store is packed with a lot of launchers and in this video I'll be showing you 5 of the very best ones that you can try out right now. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it down below and subscribe for even more content. With that being said, let's get started. Launcher is an excellent Android launcher for fans of minimalism. It's an open source project that mimics the look and feel from the Google Pixel launcher. It features many similar features to the Pixel launcher along with a few others. Those features include icon pack support, Google Now integration with an optional free plugin, adaptive icons and various other customizations. The original was highly tutored for its stock-like appearance plus its customization features. The developers now list the app as Launcher 2 and it's still in beta, but includes some more modern Android features. This app is also entirely free and I'll link it down in the description, just like any other app that I'll talk about if you're interested in downloading it. Niagara Launcher is the newest launcher app on the list and it's my demo in the rough pick. It features a very simple user interface, excellent ergonomics, and a slick look. The app also tries to limit your need for the notification shade with integrated message notifications as well as music controls. There are some light theming options available along with basic stuff like icon pack support. It's still in early access beta right now so there may be a, uh, a few bugs but depending on when you watch this video it might no longer be in early access anymore and I assume those bugs might be fixed by then. If you don't care about fancy graphics and would rather have something that just works, our launcher is probably the one for you. It is one of the newer Android launchers. It boasts probably the most minimal user interface in this list. It has very few customization options so as to maintain a distraction-free use. The app intentionally omits graphical elements like icons to minimize the experience. You can set a wallpaper and do a few customization, but that's kind of the idea. You install it, you use it, and it doesn't get in the way. The app is newer and the developer is still adding new features. Still, this is one of the better minimal style launches in recent memory. Microsoft Launcher isn't a new launcher. The app used to be our launcher before Microsoft rebranded the app in mid-2017. It features integration with many Microsoft services, including their calendar, email, to-do list app, and has direct integration with Microsoft PCs. It also has customization features and gesture controls. Microsoft Launcher is a breath of fresh air as it's something different and especially useful for those who want better integration with their own Windows PCs. Microsoft rebuilt this app from the ground up and made something very unique that I highly recommend. It doesn't really get better than Nova Launcher. Nova has been around since the good old days of Android and it remains not only relevant but one of the best Android launches that you can download right now. It has a laundry list of customization features that include but are not limited to gesture support, the ability to customize the look and feel of the app, icon pack support, themes, and much, much more. The app keeps getting updated at breakneck pace, which means bugs are generally squished quickly and new features are added consistently. It also comes with the ability to back up and restore your home screen layouts when you eventually switch to a new phone or just wanna try the same thing on a different device. I'd recommend that you try this first if you're getting into launchers and you want the most flexibility and customization. That's pretty much it for this one. I hope you found something that you're willing to try on your device and I'll leave all the apps that I've talked about linked in the description below. Until the next one, I'm out. Cheers.